Well, today on The Boiling Point, Jude will be talking about rate and making sure that your boiler is not over firing or under firing. When we select a boiler for an application, we need a certain amount of heat from the boiler or a certain amount of steam from the boiler and the amount of steam or heat that a boiler can generate at its maximum firing rate is referred to as rate. And so if a boiler is firing at its maximum production, it's determined to be firing at rate. How we determine that, um, we can do that in a number of ways. But it is important that we make rate on a boiler if we want to satisfy those process demands and it's important that we don't fire over rate on the boiler uh, which could thermally stress the unit or uh, push flame into the second pass of the boiler and cause combustion problems. The most accurate way to tell how much fuel we're consuming in a boiler is to meter it and we can go through a process called clocking the meter. Clocking the meter is looking at the flow through the meter over time to absolutely determine how many cubic feet an hour of fuel are going into the boiler. Our gas utility may need to give us a correction factor if we're using a plant meter like this. And secondly, we could actually have other things using gas. So there are some drawbacks to this method. In your facility, you may have building heat requirements. You may have other boilers furnaces and other pieces of equipment using gas besides the boiler you're trying to meter. So an independent meter designated for the piece of equipment will give you a real-time value for flow that doesn't require correction factors. This is really the way to go. In many instances, a burner manufacturer will give you a rated manifold pressure or gas pressure at the burner manifold to indicate that you're at rate with a burner. Um, in this case, that's set at 3.1 inches water column. So based on the number of orifices and the size within the burner, with that pressure on the manifold, we'll get a certain gas flow rate. In this case, uh, approximately 2 million BTU per hour. It is important though, to compare that with the furnace pressure on the boiler so that we can offset the manifold pressure with that furnace pressure. An additional easy way to check that you're not exceeding rate is to look at your stack temperature. Most boiler manufacturers recommend a maximum stack temperature of 100 to 150 degrees above your saturated steam temperature. So if the boiler is operating at 100 psi at high fire, that's 338 degrees, so I'm going to expect to see between 438 and maybe 500 degrees on the stack at high fire. If we get beyond that, it could indicate that we're over firing on the boiler or that we've got sooting or scaling of the pressure vessel. So getting to rate on the boiler is important if we want to get the maximum BTUs out of the equipment if we size for that and we need that uh, horsepower of those BTUs. So we can clock the meter, we can look at the manifold pressure, we can look at the stack temperature. Those are just a few ways that we can verify that. The more we have, the better. But once again, a designated gas meter is going to be the most accurate. Well, it's derby time and every year in May, this is the time that our managers actually cook for the employees and get things ready. But it's also a time when all of our partners come in Next week, we will have all of our rental partners from across the country have some fun, go to the track, and just have a great time. Well, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you don't mind, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and as always, share those videos. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.